Hey there, welcome to The Hot Slice, the weekly podcast brought to you by Pizza Today Magazine. I'm your host, Jeremy White, joined today by the one, the only, Mr. Josh Cowan. What's up, Josh? Hello, Jeremy. It's it's uh, good to be back on the podcast. It's been a few weeks for me. It's, uh, you know, it's sh- almost showtime, so it's crazy. A lot of things going on, but uh, I'm happy to be on today uh, with you and our fantastic guest. I'm excited. Look, we all, so our guest today is Bill Oakley. Uh, Bill is the trade show director for the food group at Emerald Expositions. Um, that's a mouthful. Long story short, what you need to know. Uh, dear listener out there is Bill Oakley is directly responsible and has been for three decades running International Pizza Expo, Pizza Pasta Northeast, the Artisan Bakery Shows, any food show we put together, Bill Oakley runs it and he is as good as they get. Yeah, absolutely pro. You know, I I, I tell the story, but you know, Bill knows where every outlet is in the, in the Las Vegas Convention Center and the Atlantic City Convention Center. I mean, he is that dialed in to he everything is. that's going on in the trade show area. So, yeah, he is. Hey, Bill, I need to charge my phone. <laughs> Go up these stairs, turn left, walk 150 feet, and to your left, there's a hidden outlet nobody knows about where you can get your phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's very true that's very true so like i said nobody knows more about the trade show business about the pizza trade show business than than uh mr oakley uh i've had the pleasure of working him for 15 years how how long have you been with him now uh, i'm in my 22nd year 22nd year with bill so yeah it's uh we've uh had a long ride together and uh he's still doing awesome work he you know i'll never forget it was my very first day working for pizza today and um I walk outside to get some sunshine around lunchtime. Bill's standing out there. I introduce myself. I ask him one question. About 45 minutes later, we walk back <laughs> in the building. It just, it, you know, uh, Bill talks 100 miles an hour, and it's like an encyclopedia because he just throws out knowledge. And yeah. uh, it's like man, easily 45 minutes later, we walk back in the building. I was like, holy cow, who is this guy? But yeah, Bill knows his stuff. Bill's high energy. He's always enthusiastic about all of our pro- projects. Um, Bill lives and breathes Pizza Expo. It really is what fuels him. It's his passion. And again, he is he's the best in the world at what he does. Yep. All right. So with uh, any further ado, let's get uh, let's talk to Bill Oakley. Yeah, let's go. Looking to grow your pizzeria or restaurant? then you'll want to try the power of a cloud-based POS system. With Hunger Rush, you'll get everything you need. This fully integrated restaurant management system allows you to easily streamline operations, accelerate the delivery process, and grow your business through Hunger Rush 360 marketing. And it's so easy to use. Want AI-powered text ordering? It's built in. Need to track orders? No problem. Schedule a personalized demo at HungerRush.com today. Performance Food Service is proud to deliver high-quality products, innovative technology, and custom operational solutions to restaurants of all sizes across the country. The flagship division of Performance Food Group, with deep roots in the restaurant industry, Performance Food Service has been the exclusive distributor of the Roma family of brands for more than 65 years. This signature relationship has allowed Performance Food Service to become a leader in the pizza and Italian segment of food service nationwide. Baccio is celebrating its 10-year anniversary, a decade of exceptional Italian pizza cheese, unmatched consistency, and partners that have become family. If you haven't had the chance to try it, purchase Baccio today and enroll in the Gold Club to receive cash back for every pound you buy. That's right, get rewarded for every single pound of cheese purchased. Schedule a demonstration at bacciocheese.com slash hot slice to learn more. Pizza is your legacy. Build it with Baccio. First question for you, Bill. Pizza Pasta Northeast is just about a month away now. What's new for this year? Well, I'll tell you what, Jeremy, you have put together an outstanding program this year. I mean, demonstrate keynotes, <laughs> uh, seminars. I, I think, you know, there's a lot of, you know, new things going on that we should be happy about and, and, and you in particular. And, and so I think really, I think we opened up our um, education program on, you know, Sunday with uh, Chris Walsh with MJ Business. And all not uh, completely you know, related to Pizza and Pasta Northeast, it certainly um, you know, does have some sort of bearing on the industry. Um, 
and he's going to be talking about the state of the cannabis industry and the trends in edibles and infused products. And so that's kind of exciting. Um, we also have, you know, new seminar speakers, you know, Eric von Hansen, um, uh, with Calente, uh, pizza and draft house, Pittsburgh. Yep. Michael Andro, um, ND pizza company. Yep. So I think they're they're all really good, you know, additions to our lineups. I think we have two great keynotes this year. Yeah, I mean, talk about the keynotes. Well, we we've got you know that that hardworking, you know, he's there, you know, six days a week. You know, Pauly G's of um, you know, kind of uh, world renowned fame and and yeah. Pauly G pizzeria. And so I think, you know, he's gonna be our opening keynote speaker. I can't think of anybody better in the Northeast. And Agreed. so I think that's uh, you know uh, uh, attraction for anybody coming to the show um that's a it's a, it's a really uh you know, great uh we have our uh, show floor open and yep. we also have john gutenkans who we all know he's been really a, a fixture in all our shows for many years but he's also you know a, uh, uh not only a master pizza maker he's a master baker as well yeah and that kind of you know ties into one other thing we have new this year new this year we're tied in with Artisan Bakery Expo East. So yeah. you know, attendee of Pizza and Post Northeast can take in those exhibits as well. They're really closely aligned. I mean, we like to think of, you know, really then you know, this tour Northeast, you know, pizza show really, you know, featuring artists and pizza makers. And, and if you think about on the other side, where else is there uh, more uh, bakeries and pizzerias in the Northeast? And so I think a logical addition is Artisan Bakery Expo East. So we're glad to have, um, you know that addition so attendees yeah. let well, me get this let me get this straight bill attendees from uh pizza and pasta who sign up for pizza and pasta and attendees who sign up for uh artisan bakery expo east they can each go to others show right yes sure they, it's located in, in really the same hall the same show yeah. floor. the the only difference is is kind of your location yep. and so really you know there, there's one entrance but there's two show floors and so everybody really should uh you know, check out Arson Bakery Expo East. I, I think it's going to continue to to grow just like our show, and but but should be a, a logical, uh, you know, progression addition. And then just take a look at John Goodenkamp. Not only is he a, a great pizza maker, yeah. he's a great uh, you know bread baker as yeah. well. And so I, I think there's uh, you know more than a few people like John out there. And so it's a great thing for everyone. Well, hat, well real quick, I just want to say a hats off to Jeremy and Polly G because. Polly G was supposed to be our keynote in 2020 and, oh, man. and you know, 2020 came and 2021 came, of course, and we, we couldn't have the shows, but uh, to keep him, you know, to keep him along for the ride and finally getting to see his keynote, I think we're all pretty excited about that. Well, it's amazing as well, but it's just like the pizza industry as well. I mean, you know, we could take, continue to, to really thrive during the pandemic and, and here yeah. we are today. And, and we were just, you know, kind of thinking back, it's un unbelievable that we haven't had the show to, since 2019 i know we're, we're gonna have a pizza expo in 2021 we had a great show at pizza expo 2022 and we're expecting even a better show for pizza and pasta northeast i think as of this morning we already have you know um 1700 uh wow. owners and operators you know registered to attend pizza and pasta northeast and I, and I think that's a, a record for us and so we're looking for you know, another record breaking show i was going to say that sounds like over 2019 numbers which was a good year for us for sure i i think you know if all thing goes like uh it did for pizza expo we could very well have the the largest crowd ever at uh, pizza and pasta northeast and so everybody awesome. ought to make plans to attend you know it's a great place to you know to shop network you know learn and taste yeah th that's it's phenomenal bill i mean like the worldwide pandemic obviously it knocked us on our butts like it did everyone but it did not knock us out we got back up got back up swinging we've put together a phenomenal show and um you know you are the leader of pizza expo pizza pasta northeast you run the trade shows in emerald's food group and um there you are the consummate professional there's nobody better than you in the entire world when it comes to putting together a food show and what you've got put together for a month from now in Atlantic City, potentially record setting after a two year hiatus is just unbelievable. And I cannot wait to get to the show. It's going to be and so awesome. I can't, I can't wait either. You know, it's, it seems like it wasn't too long ago. We're together in Las Vegas, but it's yeah. been way too long. So we're going to see a lot you know, friends and, and a lot of, um, you know, the uh, best pizza makers and uh, pizzaiolas. 
freighters, experts um, uh, in our industry there at Pizza and Pasta Northeast on October 16th and 17th at the Atlantic City Convention Center. We have yeah. a whole new, we have a whole new, like, yes, whole new group of competitions going on yes, now. Yes, we do. So, well, you'd like to touch on those. God, I, I t- you know, in, in all reality, I don't think we've ever introduced more new competitions right. ever at any of our shows since the inception of Pizza Expo. Because this year at Pizza and Pasta Northeast, we really have three new, you know, competitions um, kind of uh, let off with the best of the Northeast, uh, which features three divisions, you know, traditional, non-traditional, and Neapolitan. I think we've got 40 already entered in, you know, traditional, non-traditional, which is a pole wow. field. Um, Neapolitan, if, you, if you're a, a Neapolitan STG guy out there, I, I suggest that you register now and, and enter the competition. I think we still have probably at least 10 spots remaining in, in that division. Everything else is sold out. Um, it is um, supported by um, the Fiero Group this year, yep. which is cool. Um, certainly be uh, putting a uh, spotlight or showcasing their their ovens. And in addition to that, we have you know what was going to be a new contest back in 2019, but yeah, 2020, yeah. uh, which didn't happen. But that's the uh, Calzone Championship, and I think what a better place to have that, which is up in the Northeast. So that's that's yeah. really cool. I think, you know, that's sold out um, almost instantly. Just and so like I think that. that's going to be really, really fun. And probably the most interesting and should be one of the most enjoyable competitions we had, uh, we've ever had is the Young Pizza Maker of the Year. Yeah. And that's, that's new. We, we, we've you know kind of thought about it a couple of times. Uh, international pizza expo we thought it would be a great thing to um insert better than looking at what may be the the new face of our industry you know competing yeah. here in the northeast and and we we should know you know a lot of young pizzaolas that uh you know live and work up here and i and i think we'll see you know even more at the show and uh should be a great thing um to end the show on uh, sunday coupled with our first ever you know happy hour and um, that's right That'll be going on. We've kind of kicked that around a few times, but this year, you know, we're we're making it happen. That's being you know sponsored by Grande Cheese, and so everybody on the show floor will certainly have their access to um, you know beverages and and, and light appetizers in addition to what's already going on. Yeah. And so we think that is the uh, day one of a show, and so we've got a lot of things at the end. And, and like I say, if you go back and take a look at, um, you know, we've got new timely uh, sessions that uh, uh, Jeremy's, you know, put on the schedule. We've got um, dealing with inflation. I think, you know, just today, I, I think we all know that, uh, you know, interest rates are going up. Um, yeah. you know, inflation certainly in the system and, and uh, you know, how to deal with it and, and uh, you know, maximizing online ordering couldn't, you know, be hotter than that. And I think um, those are both brought to you by uh, Mike Bausch with, Andalini uh, Pizzeria, and so yep. that's really good. And and uh, Nick Bogatz is, has uh, you know labor shortage and you know strategies to hire retain. And I, and I think those are really you know timely sessions. And uh, you know, I think if you want to learn more, you need to come to uh, Pizza and Pasta Northeast. Yeah, and I'm so excited about the Calzone competition. And when you talked about that, I also get a little laugh because this is 2022. We first started talking about maybe doing a calzone competition in late 2018, and then we were going to make it happen in 2019, and now here we are. So it feels like this is going to be our fifth or sixth one. When in reality, yeah. it's it's the first one we've just I, been talking about it for so long now. I designed that logo so long ago. I was like, surely we we'll have one since then, right? No, no, we haven't. <laughs> it's on the fourth logo now. But, but I think everybody <laughs> we've rebranded kind of it. Three times. It. I hear it. It's it's new because it's never happened. But we've yep. certainly been promoting it for a long time. And, yeah. I, and I think that's kind of, you know, get some interest in it. And I, and I think really, you know, it's everybody's um, 
you know, really dealing with new styles these days and uh, you new menu items to set you apart from your competition. And I think, you know, Calzone, which have been around a long time, along with, you know, rolls and stuff, yeah. uh, it's a perfect fit in the Northeast, but I think it's something easy that uh, everybody can add to their menus. And, and, uh, and I think uh, we'll have some of the, you know, uh, best Ever uh, Calzone makers in the United yeah. States. Ever since, um, you know, I watched the Hulu's Best in Dough the other day, and S Scott Wiener had made a fried calzone in the competition. And ever since then, I've been like, oh, man, I wanted a fried calzone. So I'm so hoping someone fries their calzone I in the hope competition. So. And I think because someone Because I've been will. angry for it since. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, should. Someone oh, will definitely in the Northeast. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Because, again, you know, they've been kind of pushing the envelope. We know that out there on the pizzas yeah. as far as, you know, toppings are concerned and 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 really the sauces. And, and, and heck, you've got Eric Von Hansen, you know, wanted to infuse smoke into, you know, pizzas yeah. and everything else. And you, you see that on TV all the time. So I think, they, yeah. again, that's something, you know, um, Jeremy's added to this year's, uh, you know, demonstrations and, uh, and, and seminars. And so, yeah, I think uh, there's there's no telling what you're going to see you know, in that calzone competition, because this is your only time um, that you're going to have a, 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 a uh, an opportunity to kind of, you know, showcase what you can do. And so I think uh, people kind of be pushing the limits. I don't think it'll be the same thing as you got, you know, sausage and pepperoni and and, and peppers. I, I think you're going to see a lot of different, uh, let's say, sauces and a lot of different uh, combination of, of, of toppings. Yeah, Bill, to I wanted mention, to talk about the rules. Be um, yeah, let's talk about the rules for that. It's not... It doesn't have to be traditional, like you said, with only sausage, pepperoni, cheese, and red sauce. It could you you can put anything you want inside these things, right? You know, in these days where you have all these fusions of these cultures and ideas and stuff, I, I think it's really you know, open to interpretation. And I think you you could see anything really when it comes down to really the dough and really the interpretation itself of a calzone. I That's going to be interesting. You have to really. Yeah. You, that you have to see a you know a calzone based just a folded pizza with everything inside. I, I think it could be anything that we're going to see out there, and, and, I, and I think that's kind of the the cool thing about this uh, competition. It doesn't kind of limit to what you've got to do as a style. It just says you know really what a calzone is. And so I'll say like a lot of the competitions today, just because I can I can call anything a calzone. Yeah, we'll see what people come up with. Now, at the end of the day, how is that going to be received by the judges? We don't know, but it's their right. time to go out there and kind of see. And I'll say, you know, the 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 maybe the wildest interpretation could be the winner. Yeah, Josh, I'm with you on that fried calzone because <laughs> I'm not a person who, when I go out to dine with my family, I never I I can count on one hand. I'm 47 years old. I can count on one hand the number of times I have personally ordered a calzone for myself. Right. Right. I would rather just eat pizza, just yeah. full transparency. Just give me the pizza. Um, I do enjoy calzones. I just never order it. If it's put in front of me, I'm going to eat it, but I never order it on my own. Um, and then when I saw that fried calzone, I'm like, hmm, okay. Yeah. I think I might go order one of those now. I, I've had one once before. At, uh, uh, I can't, it's the name that's escaping me, uh, the House of uh calzone and pizza in brooklyn i think that's what the name of it say so it's it's been 10 years but uh i still remember it. i love the fried calzone it was great yeah Bill with ricotta mm. now, okay. I can, we could go off on a whole different no, I, live <laughs> I, I live in north of the northeast so i can tell you i've had way more than a, a few calzones you know, I, I like them a lot and and one can look at it. it can kind of be a you know kind of a you know, a handheld food in itself. It depends on just how much is, you know, how much yeah. cheese and sauce is in that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can take it. it, it it's a, it's an easy thing to deal with. So I think everybody should, you know, come and check it out. And there's no reason not to have a calzone on your menu. It, you already have all the ingredients you need on hand. Um, so it's just another offering for your customers and a calzone travels very well. We all know that carry out delivery right now, you know, as a result of the, pandemic we know that carry outs at an all-time high it is a food like i said that travels well when you get at home 20 minutes later it still tastes great um so why not right yeah. now's the time right bill oh yeah I, I, like i say i think it's it's been around for a long time but yeah you know just like you know their styles kind of making their ways across the u.s i i think it's kind of the the, the uh, time for calzo to shine as well and who better to put a spotlight on it than us I agree. And there is one competition coming back, though, correct? It's the Northeast uh, Pasta Challenge? Well, yeah, the, the, 
pasta challenge is awesome. certainly you know back it used to be a two day uh, a two day competition it's now one day so we could you know bring in the uh, calzone competition yeah but i think that's really a little bit better because what that competition is going to be about is each competitor kind of do, doing their signature pasta mm -hmm. instead okay. of let's say having uh, you know the let's say the secret ingredient or table ingredients that you need to prepare and use which is a test of one's ability but i think at the end of the day when we're looking at best. <laughs> people want to, want to add to their menu um to the pizzeria it's going to be something that really you know shines bright and and uh, i think that's really what this conference is going to be and it's not really now trying to put somebody out of their uh, comfort zone it's yeah. going to be hey putting putting a shine on what you putting a spotlight on what you're going to shine in and what's your best pasta dish that you have on your menu. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to see. And I think we're going to see a, a, a steady flow of those from the very beginning to the end of that competition. So I think everybody should uh, check it out because this isn't, uh, this is going to be everybody's best pasta dish that I they like that I like that. or that they serve or they're thinking about adding to their menu. And so I think that's something that everybody should check out. Yeah. That's I'm fun. into that. That's great. That's fun. Yeah. Bill, before we let you go, I've got one, one last question for you. You have put on a lot of shows in Atlantic City over the years. Um, so you know the town, you know, like the back of your hand. Obviously, there's not a lot of free time when we're there. We're busy. But for our attendees who are going to spend a few days in Atlantic City, when, when they leave the show floor, where are some great places in Atlantic City to go get a, an awesome meal? I've got three or four. I know you one do. Of, <laughs> one of them is uh, Doc's Oyster. House. That's my favorite bar. Yeah. Um, oh, Anthony Bourdain's one of his favorite seafood restaurants in the world. So you got to, you know, got to check that out. I, I Outstanding. think, you know, the uh, Chef Bola's, you know, Italian restaurant mm -hmm. is, is it claimed it's kind of a, you know, secret uh, in Atlantic City, but you, you can certainly look it up and find it and, and get a reservation. And I think, um, you know the uh, the uh, sub place, uh, which name White House Sub Shop. White House oh, Sub, yeah. where you yeah. go, but you know it's a place. It's just kind of taking you back in time. But you know when 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 Atlantic City really was America's favorite playground. I mean, everybody and their brother, anybody that really was a a star, you know, a performer, um, yeah. entertainer in the Northeast, they were at um, Atlantic. Everybody went to White House Subs. And, yeah. uh, you know, if you have a chance, you know, it's kind of a simple thing, but stop by there, take a look at all the photos that line the wall. It'll all the take pictures you back on the wall, Miss America. Yeah. 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 And so I, I think those three places are, um, are, are let's say a, a sub and, and two places to have dinner and, and everybody should check them out as well. hundred percent. Do Doc's Oyster House is one of my favorite restaurants in America. There, so I don't there's have nothing bad on food. that menu. I don't care. It's fresh. <laughs> there, there anything on that menu. I don't care whether it's an appetizer, an entree, something new, something try everything. It's all good. So what yeah. night are you taking us out, Bill? What uh is that gonna be Sunday uh, every or night. Saturday? Every, <laughs> I, I, you know, being, to be honest with you, I plan on being there at least every day if I can. <laughs> and so if you just tag along with me, that's what we'll end up. I mean all we've right. got a lot of fun things going on. We're gonna eat a lot of pizza, a lot of pasta probably eat a lot of uh, your know, bread products and uh, cakes over on the other side. Donuts, donuts, I, donuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and like I say, we'll close the day on, uh, on uh, Sunday with some beverages and some appetizers. And maybe that we'll just maybe have a, uh, a big get together over at uh, uh, docks. Um, I'll make a reservation. That sounds, sounds great. great. With Josh, we're going to need that uh, early morning jog on the boardwalk to work off all these calories <laughs> we're going to take. Man. Yeah. Don't sounds run good. Through. Don't, don't run too fast though <laughs> that's right all right yeah. bill thank you so much for your time thanks for previewing uh pizza and pasta northeast it is going to be a banger man i'm excited yeah i think it's going to be jam-packed I, I can't wait we'll see everybody in about three and a half weeks october 16th and 17th atlantic city take care all right bye-bye guys thanks. Bye, bill. see you